Hey dancers, welcome back to another episode of Yoga for Dancers. Uh, my name is Roxy. Super grateful to be able to connect and share with you all today. So today's class is all about practicing to get our really nice ponche. Everyone loves a good ponche. It feels really good when you can hold it and breathe and you know, it's a beautiful shape but it's very challenging. There's a lot going on, a lot of weight transfer and balancing. You have to have a really strong core, really strong standing leg, really strong glutes, lengthen your spine, focus, presence and awareness in the moment of where your weight is, where you're looking, lengthening everything. There's a lot going on. And I've always found that whenever I am, you know, consistently practicing yoga and practicing balancing poses, that I feel just more grounded in general. I feel like I have more awareness of where my weight is, you know, if my core is engaged, what muscles are active and how they are helping me, you know, take whatever shape I want and be able to move more freely, freely and just have more confidence in my body to know what to do. And so then I can breathe better. I'm not, you know, tensely just like hoping that you make it down and back up again and holding your breath the whole time. But it's really about being able to breathe, relaxing the nervous system so that you can have more alertness and more awareness of what's going on. So yeah, this is gonna be a booty workout for sure because you definitely need strong glutes first to lift that back leg up and that's what initiates then that going forward. You know, it's not just collapsing and falling forward. It has to initiate from the glutes, lifting that leg up higher and activating the whole back line of muscles up the spine through the front of the core to then also keep that leg lifted as you bring the, the upper body back up into arabesque. So yeah, let's get right to it. Grab some water and grab yourself a little ball if you have one. I have one of these little like spiky balls, but really anything that you can roll on your feet. So coming to your mat, and we're just gonna start by rolling out the feet, yeah? So that all of the fascia, all of the muscles and tendons and nerve endings, pressure points in our feet are really awake because our feet are our foundation into the earth. They are our contact to the floor and the ground and they support our whole body structure. So we wanna make sure that our feet are nice and awake and warmed up. So one that they can really plug into the ground so the muscles can really melt into the floor and get as much contact space as possible and to heighten our overall awareness of what's going on in our body and because it feels nice. <laughs> Gotta give the feet some love too. So yeah, really getting into the heel, getting onto your arches, all of your feet. Make sure your shoulders are nice and relaxed. And switch feet. And then noticing that foot that you just rolled out, notice how it feels standing on the floor, really. Noticing that it can kind of more melt, the toes can spread a little more easily. Getting into that other foot. Oh yeah. And you might not have time to, or an opportunity to roll out your feet if you're about to get on stage. But, you know, if you have time when you're warming up, either before class, before you put your point shoes on, try and roll out your feet. I might just be preaching to the choir here because I feel like dancers like to roll out everything, but, you know, if you have time to do nothing else, at least roll up your feet, or roll up, <laughs> roll out your feet and it'll leave you feeling more just awake and alert in general. Okay, awesome, put that ball over to the side. Coming to stand at the back of the mat, we are just gonna sweep the arms up, taking a deep inhale, squeezing the glutes, finding a little arch, letting the head drop back slightly, opening the throat. And exhale, diving forward, taking that forward fold, shaking your head out now. 
be finding a gentle sway side to side. Closing your eyes just for a moment and coming in to the present moment into your body, onto your mat. Beautiful, walking the hands forward, coming into a nice strong plank, plugging the whole hand into the ground, getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs. Just begin to bend one leg at a time. Pulling the core in, getting a little stretch through the calves. And exhale. Beautiful, finding stillness. Dropping the knees. Inhale, drop the belly, looking up. Exhale, chin to chest, round the spine. Inhale, coming to neutral tabletop, walk the hands forward, and exhale, mount your heart and third eye to the ground for puppy pose here. So, oh my gosh, stay, you can stay a puppy. Um, we're getting a nice and lengthening of the spine, kind of getting our spine prepped for that arching position that we'll be in for ponche. Coming back up to tabletop, tuck the toes and lift your hips up to the sky, downward facing dog, shake out your head now. Inhaling, reach the left leg up to the sky, getting a nice stretch. Exhale, stepping that foot in between the hands, coming into a lunge here. So first of all, spreading the toes on the floor, making sure that knee is right over the ankle and then drawing the inner thighs together, trying to square off the hips. From here, inhaling, looking forward, exhaling, extend that front leg for pyramid. Inhaling, shifting forward, sinking low through the hips, Exhale, straightening, but not locking into that front leg. Melting over it. Inhale. Exhale, straighten. Taking a deep, full inhale and exhale here. Just getting a nice stretch through the legs. All right, really spreading the toes of that front foot, plugging your big toe and pinky toe into the mat, plugging your heel down and seeing if you can pull up on your arches a little bit, just to make your foot a little more active, but we're not gripping in the toes. From here, shifting your weight into that front leg and lifting the back leg off for a standing split. And so in standing split, you wanna keep the hips squared so the leg is not gonna get as high. If you're open up like this, you are not doing the pose. So try and drop that right hip down and really having to activate your right glute and right hamstring here to lift that leg away. Feel like someone's pulling your toes up and away from the body. And then noticing the standing leg, making sure you're not locking into the knee. And from here, you're gonna inhale, bending through that right leg, coming up to stand tall on that left leg, arms up, find your balance. You're gonna exhale, twisting, twisting from the core. So keeping your hips nice and square, facing the front, and using your core strength to exhale and twist. Okay, so we're gonna practice this little standing leg balance flow so that we can really feel solid on our standing leg. But how it's gonna go is exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, extend that right leg back, coming into warrior three. Inhale, back up to center. And exhale, twisting from the mid ribs. Inhale. And join in whenever you're ready. Exhale, extend. Inhale, coming up, keeping the core engaged, nice and strong. Exhale, shoulders down, twisting, looking over that back arm. Inhale, exhale, extend back, long spine. Trying to keep the hips squared here as well. Inhale, up, exhale, twist. Inhale, 
Ooh, my left leg is burning. And extend. Last one, inhale. Activating your left glute as well to give you support on that standing side. Exhale, extending into warrior three, shoulders away from the ears, ribs pulling up and in, core pulling up. And gently lower that back leg down, release your hands to the floor, stepping back into a downward facing dog. Shake the head out, no. Beautiful, inhaling, sweeping the right leg up now. Extending here, you can let your hips open, get a nice stretch. Exhale, stepping that foot through in between the hands, coming into a lunge. So making sure that knee is right over the ankle. Extend all toes on the floor, really grounding down through the outer two, the pinky toe and the big toe. Inhale, exhale, extend. Keeping a tiny micro bend in that leg to not lock into the knee. Inhale, drop. Exhale, extend. So we really wanna make sure that we're moving with the breath so that as we practice moving with the breath here on the mat, it will become second nature to us to be moving with our breath while we dance, whether it's in class or on the stage. <sighs> training our body to be our movement, training our body movement to be initiated by the breath <sighs> is going to support you so much while you're dancing, especially during a hard class to you know, really keep your muscles fueled with oxygen. From here, straighten the leg and shifting the weight forward to that right leg, straighten it and extend the left leg up, squaring off your hips, so really drop that left hip down. Point through the toes and imagine someone's pulling that foot away from you, trying to find space in the hip socket, almost like you can create a little bit of space from the femur bone and the hip socket, pulling the core in, active left glute and hamstring. Beautiful, inhaling, coming up, nice and strong on that right standing leg, draw the knee into the chest, exhale, twist to the left, spreading the right toes on the floor, active right booty, inhale up, Exhale, extend that leg back, arms coming behind you, length through the spine, long neck. Inhale up to standing. Exhale, twist, pulling the core into the spine. Inhale, center. Exhale, extend. Inhale. Exhale, twist, focusing on all the little sensations you're getting from your body. Exhale. Strong glutes, squared hips. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, extending. Finding length in the spine, flat back, flat stomach. Exhale, lowering down. Plant your hands, stepping back into downward facing dog. Beautiful, then we'll take a vinyasa. Inhaling up onto the toes, rippling through the spine as you come forward into a plank. Exhale, lowering, drawing the elbows into the body. And inhale, upward facing dog, getting your knees and hips off the floor. Squeezing the glutes as you reach up through the spine. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. All right, so time to work the booty. We're gonna take a down dog splits, but again, keeping those hips squared. So your leg is not gonna get all the way open. We're really trying to square off the hips. In fact, take the hips, let them open so that you can notice a difference when you square off the hips. How does it feel keeping that micro bend in the right leg? From here, we're just gonna do 15 little pulses, really activating the glute to lift up. Up, three, four, core in, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15. All right, now extend that leg, open up 15 more in a more turned out open hip position. One, two, three, trying to really activate from the glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, keeping the shoulders square to the front of the room. 12, 13, 14, 15, extend, and exhale, stepping that foot forward. Coming into a lunge, arms up. And exhale, bringing your arms behind you now, starting to lean forward. Back really fast. Coming into a lunge, leaning forward, leaning over that front leg. Leaning so far until you can lift up off of that back leg. Coming into a full warrior three. Energy of going out through the toes, pressing into the ground to lift your body up and away. From here, once you've found your balance, we're gonna drop the right toes, tap them on the floor, and lift. 10, nine, core in, hip squared. Seven, six, five, four, three, come on right, booty, you got it, <laughs> two, one from here, lifting, and then find that ponche. It's gonna be a parallel ponche, but find a place to gaze out on the floor. Lifting that right leg up is what initiates your upper body going down. You can have your hands on your hips or extending up behind you. Taking a few full breaths here. And then if you can, try to come back up through warrior three, drawing that knee into the chest, and exhale coming down. So shake out that left leg. It's okay if you didn't get it, as you saw, I cheated and used the floor a couple times. So <laughs> this is an extreme, just really trying to get that leg, that standing leg really strong, so that when it comes time to do your beautiful ponche, you have the strength, you have the endurance to get you through the whole move. Ooh, all right, time to do the other side. <laughs> all right, coming to the back of the mat, inhaling arms up, exhaling, folding forward. Walking those hands forward into a plank and moving through a vinyasa on your own breath rhythm, inhaling to shift your weight forward, exhaling, lowering down to coming to hover above the floor, inhaling. Heart shining forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, core in as you pull the hips up and back. Shake your head up, no. All right, what leg are we on? Right leg, okay. Spread your fingertips on the floor, grounding down through that left leg. Inhale, extend the right leg. So first, take that really open position, trying to keep your shoulders squared. And then squaring off the hips, so really trying to get the hips level. And just noticing a difference. Taking a full inhale and exhale here. And then from here, really engage that right glute and pulse it up for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful, extending that hip. Getting it open, keeping the shoulders square though. And now pulse again. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, exhale, stepping that foot forward. Coming into that high lunge, reaching the arms up. Shoulders relaxed down. On your next exhale, shifting your weight forward as you draw your arms back. And then lifting off of that back leg, straightening through the front leg, but not locking in. Finding your warrior three with your core and ribs pulling in and up. Long spine from the crown of the head to the tailbone, squaring off the hips. Drop that left leg, 10, nine, core in, eight, seven, Six, five, oh my right butt, oh, four, three, okay, two, 
<laughs> one. All right, from here, finding that ponche, lifting the left leg up to come down. Extending the arms up if you can. Find a gaze on the floor to focus on. Beautiful, and coming back up through standing. Draw that knee into the chest and release it down. Good job, right leg. Give yourself some love. Shake that leg out. From here, inhaling, arms up. And exhale, melting down. Take that forward fold. From here, you're gonna bend the right knee, straighten the left, plant that right hand on the floor, right in the center, and twisting open to the left. Finding the length from the tailbone and the crown of the head. Taking a deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Release that arm down, switching sides, bending through the left, straighten the right, twisting open through the right. And that length, creating lots of space in the torso to take nice full breaths. Exhaling, coming down. From here, bringing your feet out to the edges of your mat with heels on and toes off. Sinking the hips down, bend through the knees, coming into our Malasana, our yogi squat here. So lots of length through the spine, pressing your palms together, using the elbows to press your knees open wide. Relaxing the shoulders, long neck. Closing your eyes, feel the energy circulating in your body, feel the heat. Hopefully you got a little tiny bit of a sweat going. <laughs> if not, it's totally fine. <laughs> And from here, sinking your booty all the way to the floor, coming to roll onto your back, reach for the outer edges of your feet, coming into happy baby. Up to you if you wanna keep your knees bent or straighten out those legs. Listen to your body. Beautiful from here, hugging the knees into the chest and just give yourself a little rock side to side. All extending the right leg down, hugging that left knee into your chest. See if you can pull. So wrap your hands around the leg just below the knee, pulling up, creating a little bit of space in the hip socket, trying to pull that femur bone out of it and just draw some little circles with that leg. And from there, extending that left leg, giving a little stretch, holding onto your foot or calf or ankle. All right, we're gonna just do a little PNF stretch here, which means first you're gonna, as you're pulling down with your arms, you're gonna activate your whole left leg and your glutes and every muscle and try to push against your arms. So you've got this opposition force going, pushing the leg into the hands, drawing the leg down with the hands, press, 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 squeeze, 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 everything, inhale. Exhale, let that leg relax, completely drawing it into your body. Beautiful, did you notice how you were able to go maybe just a little bit further? Okay, one more time. And you're trying to not lock into the knee either, so keeping that micro bend, squeeze the left leg completely and press it into those hands. Opposition force, squeeze, 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 inhale. Exhale, release completely, drawing it in towards your body. Woo. Oh yes, beautiful, slowly drop that leg all the way down to the floor, reach your arms up overhead. And exhale, drawing the right knee into the chest now. Give it a little squeeze. And wrapping your hands around the leg just below the knee, just begin to drop up. So really drawing that knee straight up towards the ceiling, creating little circles, trying to relax in the leg, relaxing the front of the hip. Just creating a little bit of space. And from there, extending that right leg, holding on 
to the ankle. And finding your edge, find that place where you're getting a good sensation of stretch, feeling the opening, feeling, just feeling, <laughs> feeling it, but you can still breathe in a relaxed way. All right, taking that PNF stretch, squeezing that right leg, squeezing the glutes, activating everything, pressing it into the hands as your hands try to draw that leg back down, opposition force, squeeze, 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 press, inhale, exhale, relax completely, soften completely. All right, one more time, squeezing that right leg, the quads, the hamstrings, the calves, the glutes, everything, trying to press up and away, but your hands are pulling it back down. Squeeze, 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 and release completely. Full inhale, and full exhale. Extending that leg all the way to the floor and dropping your hands down by your side, taking a moment in Shavasana. Shavasana is where everything that we've learned, everything we just practice can fully integrate into the body. So the body can build new muscle fibers, build those new neural, neural muscular pathways, Closing your eyes, softening through your entire legs from the hips, through the hamstrings and the quads, through the muscles and the ligaments of the knee, through the shin and the calves, letting everything soften and surrender to gravity. the ankles relax and all the little muscles of the feet and toes. Feeling the power of your legs, how strong they are. Gratitude for them to allow you to do all of the dancing you love to do, to take you everywhere, to always hold you up, to be our foundation and our connection to the earth. Visualizing yourself as the best version of yourself as a dancer. Seeing yourself dancing as your best self with the most freedom, with the most range of motion, with the most stamina and energy and understanding of your body to allow your emotions and your creative expression to flow, to come through and to move you. Just knowing that you are perfect as an artist, as a mover, as a creator, just as you are. And that everything that you are bringing to your classes, to the stage, to your choreography, whatever it is, is so needed in this world. And that you inspire the people around you to become their best versions of themselves. Hauling in everything that you want to be, all your goals, maybe where you want to be as a dancer, how you want to grow and to improve calling in all of that energy, strength to support you on your journey, inspiration and motivation, that inner fire to work hard. And, and the self-love and compassion 
to know that you are already whole, you are already perfect as you are, and that you deserve love, you deserve time to rest, time to reflect. Soaking all of that in with a few more breaths. <sighs> Knowing that you have what it takes. <sighs> Finding a little movement that feels good for you. Maybe giving yourself a hug. You can draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then rolling onto one side to gently press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. <sighs> Rooting down through your sits bones, growing up tall through the spine. We'll take one last breath together to seal off the practice. Inhaling arms up, gathering in everything you visualized. Uniting the palms and drawing it all into your center. Knowing that you already are, you already do, and you already have enough and everything you need. Namaste. Thanks for joining y'all. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Like, subscribe. If you need any support or anything, I'm always here. Always feel free to reach out. <sighs> Much love. See you on the next episode.